In this question, we're told the number of members X of a club attending monthly meeting is modelled by a Poisson distribution with mean 10. Part A says to determine the probability that at a randomly chosen meeting, the number of members attending is. So, A part I. Before we do anything, we should indicate that X is distributed with a Poisson with mean 10. Every Poisson and binomial question should start off by declaring its distribution. Part I wants me to find the probability that x is exactly equal to 9. Whenever it's exactly equal to something, I use the formula. So the formula that we should be using is probability x is equal to x is equal to e to the minus lambda times lambda to the power of x all over x factorial. So then the probability that x is equal to 9 is equal to e to the minus lambda, so e to the minus 10, times by lambda, which is 10, to the power of x, which is 9, all over x factorial, so all over 9 factorial. If we type this into our calculator carefully and just take, make sure that we don't make any silly errors, you should get an answer of 0.1251 to four decimal places. Okay, so part two. Part two says probability, calculate probability x is less than 12. So remember that the tables find the probability x is less than or equal to a value. So this less than 12 is 11 and down. So I need to find the probability of x less than or equal to 11. So let's have a look in the tables and see how we can make that reading. So if I just highlight, the mean is 10. So using a highlighter, let's indicate we're going to read probabilities up to this column, this little yellow uh, highlighted line that I've used. And so probability x is less than or equal to 11, just reading across from 11, just taking care. Obviously, you wouldn't mark your tables, but we should get an answer of 0 0.6968. So now if we go back and just record our answer, 0 0.6968. Okay, part B can be a little bit confusing sometimes. It says determine the smallest value of n such that probability x greater than or equal to n is less than 0 0.01. But if we use the way we read our tables and use a little bit of algebra, it should make life a little bit easier for us and make sure that we do get the right answer. So what we're saying is probability x greater than or equal to n is greater than uh, sorry is less than 0.1. Okay, so to find the probability x is greater than or equal to n, n, I'd have to do one minus the probability x is less than n, and we want this to be equal to sorry less than. 0.1. Now, as we saw a moment ago, we can't do just a probability x is less than n. What we're going to say is we're going to say 1 minus the probability of x less than or equal to. And the relationship for less than is, as you can see here, if I wanted less than 12, I had 11. So if I want less than n, I want less than n minus 1. And this has to be equal, less than 0.1. If I rearrange this now, subtract the 0.1 from both sides, I get 0.99. And subtract the probability x less than or equal to n minus 1 from both sides. Sorry, add that to both sides. And we get probability of x less than or equal to n minus 1 must be greater than 0.99. Might read a little bit better if I write it, write it this way round for you. So less than n minus 1 greater than 0.99. Okay then, so let's have a look in the tables and see if we can find the first value where n minus 1, less than or equal to n minus 1, is greater than, sorry, so we want to find the first value where probability x less than it is greater than 0 0.99. So if I come down the table, looking for the first value which is greater than 0 0.99, which is here, so I'm just going to get my highlighter pen so that I can read across. So here is my first value that's greater than 0.99. So if I read across here, that says 18. So now what I know is that n minus 1 is equal to 18. 
So if I rearrange this by adding one to both sides, we get that the answer n is equal to 90. Okay then, so let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. Uh, starting off, part A, I, we get a method mark for the use of the Poisson formula and an answer mark for a correct answer there. We then just get a method mark and answer mark for our correct readings from the table. And then finally, we get a method mark and an answer mark. Method mark really is you have to reason this part some in some way, but the marks are awarded if you just get to n equals 19. Okay, well I hope that all made sense and it was able to follow the solution and also able how to mark it.